Let's talk about your trading goals for 2014. Do you have any in place? Uh, if you do, fantastic. But if you don't, let's talk about some ideas right now. Hi traders, Andrew Mitchum here, the Forex Trading Coach. Today is Friday the 13th of December, so I hope you're not uh, too superstitious with that. Uh, well, as we head towards the end of the year in terms of the trading year, we're seeing some, uh, some quite a movement on the charts, mostly due to the lower volumes um, that are going through the market right now. So it's actually a really good time of year to actually spend over the next couple of weeks some time to reflect on what you've done uh, good and bad this year and also how you can uh, progress with your trading heading into 2014. Um, I've made a list here that I'd like to just run through with you that's just going to give you some helpful uh, hints and some tips about what you should maybe look for on your trading uh, plan and your trading goals uh, for 2014. So I start with, uh, for example, how much time do you want to spend on your trading? Uh, you know, how much time can you dedicate? How much time would you like to dedicate to, dedicate to trading? You don't need to be spending uh, like hours and hours every day. But and also, the more time you trade uh, does not always mean the more money you'll make. But just uh, write down how much time do you want to spend or can you spend uh, trading each day? What uh, time of day suits you to trade in terms of what works with your job, uh, if you're working uh, with your family? with any other social activities you might do, what days of the week uh, suit you best, what times of the day suit you best to trade, uh, what currency pairs do you like trading, do you look at all the pairs that your broker offers or do you concentrate on just the major pairs or maybe you've got one or two minor pairs uh, that are your favourite. So write those down. Um, are you going to be trading only in the direction of the longer term trend or only in the direction of the daily trend using the strength and weakness analysis that I publish each day? You know, is that going to be something that's going to aid you? Are you going to, for today, if you're looking for the Australian dollar US to, uh, to fall like I am today, am I only going to be taking trades on the four hour charts, one hour charts, 15 minute charts in short positions only and ignoring all buy positions? Uh, write that down if that's a rule for you. Um, how many trades are you going to look to take per day or per week? Uh, what happens if you reach that limit? Let's say your uh, goal was to take no more than five trades in a day and you've taken five and you see a really good setup. What are you going to do? Are you going to take it? Are you going to leave it? Uh, what um, performance goals are you going to set yourself per day or per week? Um, let's say that your goal is to make 2% uh, per week. And let's say by Wednesday you've achieved over 2% and you see a really good setup. Are you going to take that or not? Uh, so you need to have these rules set in place. So what it will do by having that plan and the, those rules in place, it will help eliminate the... Uh, like the sort of trigger reactions and the emotional reactions uh, when you're there taking trades live. Um, will you close out trades at the end of the day? Will you close out trades at the end of the week? Uh, will you close out trades only on reversal signals or uh, are you going to employ a 100% set and forget approach to your trading? So in other words, you put your stop loss in your profit target and you leave it. Uh, it depends what suits you. There is really no um, absolute right or wrong way to uh, approach your trade management, but it's what suits you that is important. Um, also, how much risk are you willing to take per trade? Are you willing to take um, like 2% per trade? I would strongly suggest you don't, but some people or most people will tell you to trade between 2 and 5% per trade. I think that's uh, ridiculous. Uh, I employ a policy of uh, 0.25 to 0.5% per uh, of 1% risk per trade, so a quarter to half of 1% risk per trade. That's what suits me, and that's what I strongly suggest people do. Um, and also, so when you, uh, you've you sort of put all this together, create a trading plan that works for you. Don't worry about it fitting into someone else's trading plan. Uh, create one that works for you that you can realistically stick to and also you can realistically achieve. Uh, print that out, 
pin it on the wall next to your computer, look at it all the time, look at it every day and, um, and look at it before you take positions to see if that what you're about to do, taking a new position, does it meet the criteria for your trading plan? Is it a suitable candle setup? Um, uh, are all the other criteria that you're looking for for a setup, are they all in place? Um, same with exits. Uh, if you are looking at taking an uh, exiting a trade, don't just do it on an emotional reaction. Uh, exit for a reason and a reason that you've already got pre-planned. So that, I hope, will really help you create a trading plan that's going to aid your trading into 2014. Uh, other things just on the chart to mention, we've seen some strength in the US dollar uh, all of this week, and we've seen a lot of weakness in the Australian dollar. I've been uh, picking weakness uh, most of the days this week. Uh, yesterday being uh, Thursday, I had around five pairs, I think it was, looking at short positions on the Aussie dollar. It came through beautifully on all of them. So the charts, once again, were showing me what was likely to happen, whether it be fundamental, whatever the reason for the fall in the Australian dollar, um, I had that already predicted and published um, well in advance of that happening. And, and so it just comes back to the fact that good technical analysis can definitely uh, help you uh, predict with high probability where the markets are heading. Um, also, we are in extremely low volume, like I've mentioned. I'm looking at tra ending trading for the week, uh, or for the year, I should say, around the 19th or 20th, so next Thursday or next Friday, and probably not starting again looking for new positions until Monday the 13th of January. So that's all for now. This is Andrew Mitchum from the Forex Trading Coach. If there's anything I can do to help, please let me know. Don't forget to look out for my four-day Christmas spe uh, special promotion between the 16th and 19th of December. There's a 900 US dollar discount on the course uh, fee, on the standard fee. Uh, it's only between the 16th and 19th of December. Get in quick. It's a great offer. Uh, look forward to helping you be a really successful trader in 2014. Bye for now and have a fantastic day.